Regardless of the small size and limited appliances, a kitchen net brings various advantages. First, it obviously suits best for small spaces like an apartment. Second, it could be portable and easy to clean regularly. Third, it's undoubtedly affordable, especially if you build it yourself. In case you need some inspiration, here are 12 DIY kitchenette ideas. As always, Simphome curates and presents you with the list. Number 12. How to turn a dresser into a simple kitchenette. If you have a tired dresser and are thinking about getting a new one, please do not throw out the old one yet. You can give it a second life by turning it into a kitchenette. Begin with installing the sinks by measuring where you want to position them from the edges. Then, trace the outer rim of the sinks to the top of the dresser. You will also need to measure the sink lip and transfer the measurement to the line you've made. After that, cut out holes for the sinks and try to place your sinks into the holes to see whether they can rest perfectly. Then, secure the sinks in place using silicone. Silicone will help you attach them to the dresser and create a waterproof seal. Next, you can install the kitchen mixer between the sinks. After that, drill a hole in the back for the pipes. Number 11. An Outdoor Kitchenette Project Transformation with Concrete Countertop When throwing an outdoor party, it will be advantageous to have an ample countertop and sink near the grill like this kitchenette. The concrete countertop is made to fit the sink, wooden chopping board, and grill. Since it is a bit heavy, the author adds wheels. However, consider attaching wheels to each leg instead of only two. To create a similar kitchenette, you need to begin making the base from wooden boards assembled with reinforcing mending plates. Then, you need to make the concrete countertop. Since you'll have a built-in sink, cutting board, and barbecue in your kitchenette, you'll have to create sized holes where they will fit. Once the concrete countertop is set, attach it to the base. Then, insert the sink, cutting board, and barbecue into the countertop. Number 10. A DIY Outdoor Kitchen Project Idea for Only $200 this kitchenette provides a wider counter space to prepare and serve meals and more storage space. The sink does another duty as bottles cooler when not used. You can remake this kitchenette at home with two file cabinets as the base and solid wood as the countertop. This cabinet will not rust because it's been spray painted. Besides, it's waterproof. Number 9. A Modern Kitchenette Project Idea from Modern Builds To make this kitchenette, you can begin by cutting a 3 quarter inch birch plywood to length. Then, assemble the pieces using wood glue and 16-gauge finish nailers. The two internal dividers are inset. Consider using scrap wood when assembling the dividers to create a consistent offset. If you want to make the kitchenette sturdier, you can grab corner braces and attach them to the back corner of the cabinet. After that, create drawers and install them in the cabinet. Besides drawers, you'll also need to create a cabinet door and install trim to round out the mini fridge's cabinet. Next, install the countertop and sink. Finally, decorate the kitchenette. Number 8. The IKEA Mini Kitchen Project Idea To be affordable doesn't necessarily mean to make everything from zero. For example, you can build this kitchenette from an IKEA base cabinet. Just follow the instruction guide from the manual, then add a countertop. Remember to cut out the countertop to insert a sink and faucet, and there you have it. Add wall-mounted shelves above the kitchenette to provide more storage. You can also install a pegboard between them to hold more things. Number 7. A Kitchenette Project Idea for the Basement Hallway Consider adding a kitchenette nearby if you have a family room in the basement or usually welcome your guests. It could be in a hallway like this. By coincidence, the space in this hallway just fits perfectly for two narrow cabinets and a mini-fridge. So, all left is to give a new face to cabinets by painting and installing poles. Last, put the board on the countertop and there you have it. Number 6. A Kitchenette Project Transformation for a Guest Room this kitchenette looks just cute with a barn door. Although the size is relatively small, in fact, it can hold a mini refrigerator, microwave, coffee maker, and some baskets. Isn't it gorgeous to put it in the guest room? This way you can serve them better and they don't need to bother you by going to the main kitchen to get some drinks or to warm their food. You can build a similar one in a day. Start by creating the cabinet from plywood according to the fridge and microwave size. Add a face frame where the reels will be installed, then attach the barn door. Number 5. A Redwood Outdoor Kitchenette by Lovely Indeed If you want a standout outdoor kitchenette, try going with redwood. This kind of wood looks beautiful against a white wall, even among the greenery. The addition of a silver grill and fridge enhances the fancy look, and if you notice, the kitchenette is actually floating. This kitchenette is built by first screwing the ledger frame onto the wall. It needs to be highly sturdy and stable. 
Then continue building the cabinet face to the size you desire. To create a floating look, give the bottom frame some space from the ground and add metal brackets under the cabinet for additional support. Number 4. A Practical Kitchenette Project for Camping by Homemade Modern This insanely clever kitchenette will ease you to prep meals literally everywhere inside and outside the house. The countertop can be disassembled from the legs, which allows you to bring the set easily. The folding metal sawhorse, which is the leg, is foldable and adjustable to the height you need and has some holes to hang kitchen things. Besides, with this leg shape, the kitchenette can stand up firmly even on uneven ground. Aluminum angles play a critical role as brackets to adjoin the countertop and the legs from the underside. It is cut into several pieces and drilled so bolts can be inserted. The same points of holes are drilled into the countertop and the sawhorse. Number 3. A Kitchenette Corner Redo for Under $600 don't let your corner be gloomy because isolated things keep tucking there. Instead, try to turn the space into a small kitchen. Use a cabinet as the foundation, then add a butcher block counter. In this picture, the cabinet has an opening for a stove that is not really needed, so a piece of curtain and tension rod is used to disguise it. The fridge also has new hardware to match the cabinet, and the navy color matches the ceramics. To add detail, the existing shelves that once held toys now hold some baskets and accessories. Number 2. A Camper Van Kitchen Project Idea from Fun Life Crisis Have you ever spent multiple days in a van? If so, this little kitchen is perfect for you. The base is a cabinet, so you'll have room for all your cookware. However, a folding knife, chopping board, and multifunctional utensils might help you make the most of the limited storage space. The next step is to make room for the refrigerator and then make any necessary repairs. A magnetic spice rack is a great way to make use of any unused wall or cabinet space. In a small area such as a van, the varied hues of spices could serve as a colorful accent. Before we complete the countdown with our final choice of the current list, we'd like to inform you that if you need other improvement ideas, you have Simphome Content Collections on your side. There, we cover other interesting topics such as garden, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrade, bedroom update ideas, and many more. We'll see you there, and until we meet again sometime in the future, let's close our countdown with number one, a clever idea on how to cook with no kitchen by My We Abode. This idea could inspire you in this situation where the space leaves nothing but a bulky cupboard. The key is to maximize the space. One of the most foolproof ways to do that is by presenting a kitchenette. Utilize a rolling cart to add extra storage and a counter. Also, think of maximizing the space vertically by installing open shelves, magnetic knife holders, and a spice rack. That's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching the video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Like the video if you believe it will motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly though, it's more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project. See you again soon!